Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today we are going to be talking about complete the mission and clone commandos for Star Wars Legion. This is a new keyword that this new upcoming unit is going to have. And I, I wanted to clarify something on there between looking at the unit card and looking at the rules reference. I think complete the mission is going to be even stronger than initially thought, which is going to mean you may want to have more than one clone commando in your army if you're looking to pick up this latest groovy unit for Star Wars Legion. Uh, if you guys are new here to the channel, we are uh, going to be announcing the winner to the uh, $25 Amazon gift card giveaway this week. So you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Let me know down in the comments section your thoughts on Clone Commandos. How do you see them going into your latest Star Wars Legion Republic list? I think there's a lot of different options. We're going to actually look over a list that I was throwing together with these guys also. So if you're not up to speed, let's 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 talk about the the clone commandos. They are they're pretty groovy. They've got complete the mission uh, which says during setup place a priority mission token on the battlefield outside of any deployment zone. While this unit is in range which is at range 1 of the priority mission token, this unit gains surge to block. When a unit attacks an enemy unit that's at range 1 of the priority mission token, this unit's attack pool gains the critical 2 keyword. Now, this makes up for some huge deficiencies on the unit card, the fact of any kind of surge, which a lot of clones don't have, but be considering that, that these guys are sort of elites at, at, a, at a tremendous discount, no less. Um, they're, uh, that's going to make them very, very cool if they're, if they're where they need to be. And the fact that they have infiltrate means that you are going to be able to drop them right where they need to be. Now, they may not always be shooting an enemy that's where they need to be, but uh, but they're pretty cool. Um, real quick, I'll go over everything else on them. They're 75 points. They are a support of four miniatures. You're not going to be able to add heavy weapon guys to this, but you will be able to add a weapon. They have training, equipment, grenade, uh, comms, and weapons. They have two dice per for their melee, which is not half bad. And then they also have two dice per per with their range attack is a black and a white on their range attack with suppressive versus two black for melee so it's honestly pretty solid stats so far they have complete the mission which we already talked about they have infiltrate which we already talked about they also have target one so they can get free aim token uh if they get a, an order and they have shielded and recharge which is going to help their survivability even more now again shield tokens have to be spent during the modify attack dice step so you're not going to be able to like roll your dice and then say oh i didn't roll enough blocks now i'm going to spend the shit you kind of have to do it first but the cool thing about that is you can do that to cancel out a crit if you're in heavy cover which of course you should be able to be if you're you know doing infiltrate and all of that other good stuff so it means your opponent's gonna to have to commit some really really big dice pools to take these guys out if they want to to do that and at the end of the day it's only a 75 point unit which is pretty cool so why would you want more than one of these well, first off, there's the whole Delta Squad thing, which we haven't seen a preview of yet. Although, by the time you're seeing this, it may be already out. I expect that, that preview to come out soon. But uh, the other thing is that complete the mission is worded a little bit ambiguously here on the unit card. Because what if I run two of these? Can they help each other's complete the mission card? I wasn't sure about this when I was initially doing my read through. And now I believe you can. And I'll show my work and I'll tell you why. Uh, because here, first off says, while this unit is at range of the priority mission token. So my, my, my takeaway from that was, does that mean the one that they dropped? Or does that mean any of them? You know, this usually we don't see the when there can be multiples. There's, this isn't a unique unit, right? But if we go to the rules reference guide, or the, 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 the complete rule book now that, they, that they've redone it, um, complete the mission is worded differently there. And that's really the reminder text on a card is meant to be a reminder, not to be the actual FAQ authority. So if we look at how complete the mission is worded in the rule book, it says um, when they're at range one of a friendly priority mission token, that's the key word that actually means, whoa, I don't need to have them next to their own. They just need to be next to a friendly one. So what can we do with this knowledge? I'm glad you asked <laughs> because you asked. Um, no, what we can do with this knowledge is we can take, you know, multiples. We could take two clone commandos and, you know, I'll drop mine here and I'll drop and he'll drop his there. And all of a sudden now we have two big bubbles <laughs> that are, sorry, that's weird, uh, that are over, you know, two big, like a Venn diagram. You have like, you, you double your area. 
uh, or you could run three of them and have like a, you could triangulate and now you have like a much bigger area of coverage uh, where they will have a much easier time each being at range one because range one is not a huge bubble um, but you know they don't have to be f fully within they just have to be at it so you just have to have one mini that's kind of still there right but but if you've got three you have a much bigger area on which you can actually make these guys effective and so i feel like uh when you're adding more than one of them and having the multiple tokens outside of deployment zones but you know kind of close enough to each other you're almost acting like as a multiplier for how you can do them and i don't even think you have to have them exactly range one of each other either because you you can have them kind of range two of each other because those range bubbles are going to you know they're going to kind of do this deal and i probably should have done up some ex very specific graphics on how you want to outlay them but i don't know how helpful that'll be because it's going to depend on your table it's going to depend on the situation is going to depend on if your if your opponent has infiltrate units of their own it's going to depend on the objective so i don't want to do like specific graphics saying how you can do it but i, I i'm sure if you're watching this you can imagine i've got one big circle and i've got another big circle and they can you know i can put them fairly close together to where they're giving overlapping fields of of coverage for my unit to go in and be able to be touching at least one of those and as of right now there's no way for your opponent to mess with these tokens and to move them away or to disable them or anything like that um I, even if the unit dies uh and i believe the complete the mission token stays on there so uh, even if you start with three clone commandos you know you you can still you know, if you lose two of them, that last one still has, you know, coverage because they're still friendly to complete the mission. They still have to complete that mission even though everybody else is dead, right? So that's my thought. Uh, let's show you guys a, a little sample list of what I came up with. So um, so here we go. We've got, we've got Obi-Wan. We've got Obi-Wan Kenobi as our commander. Now, I think there's a lot of different commander options. I am using Tabletop Admiral today. So if you want to check this list out, I'll put a link down in the video description below. Uh, I decided to go with uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi as our commander. Um, because these guys have a decent amount of survivability, but there are only one health each and only four miniatures per unit, um, I think I figured there was going to become a time where I want uh, maybe a force barrier on there to protect them or some guardian stuff to protect them. I feel like Obi-Wan's a good protector of clones. And that could, that could kind of work here. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Especially since these clones are going to be uh, uh, you know up close and personal to the enemy, then maybe... Uh, Obi-Wan would want to, you know, get in on that and get close and do crazy stuff. Um, I give him force push also. Hey, look, the clone commandos, they they want our, our opponents to be a range two. And a smart opponent will try to stay outside of range two, limiting the effectiveness of the commandos. So maybe force push will kind of get them in range or just get Obi-Wan out of a, a, a spot. Uh, let's give him vigilance. So you can, it's expensive, but so you can take a dodge first turn and then just, just keep it. So, you know, it, it's an idea. Um, I, I, I put Padme in there as well. Uh, she can help out with the token sharing. Another, I have a second reason for putting Padme in there also, because she can also do infiltrate where she can drop with those clone commandos and they can protect her. And then she can do uh, complete the mission or she can do secret mission. And maybe that's the secret mission that must be completed is Padme's secret mission to get that extra victory point. I feel like they could work really well with her. I didn't give her any upgrades. I don't think she needs a whole lot. For core, uh, we went with phase two clones with Z6. Uh, a clone medic in that unit as well. Um, I do have a phase one with Z6 and two phase ones with nothing. Uh, which is not bad. It gets me to nine activations, which is not half bad. We have three clone commandos in there, and and, and I kept them bare bones. I, I know we can put more on them. Um, there's there's different interesting options for for like for grenades or for training. I think training is one of those ones that I really want to put stuff on. I won't, I won't lie to you. I really was tempted to put HQ uplink on these guys because of the fact that they have that uh, range four gun that is going to exhaust. They may in fact find themselves recovering quite a bit. And I thought to myself, self, well, if I'm going to have them recovering every turn, maybe I should just give them HQ uplink. This way I can control when they activate. But at the same time, it's really expensive. And they're only a 75-point unit. So they're pretty cheap uh, for as good as I think they're going to be. Uh, so that's 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 fun. So that's fun. So th th that's uh, that's about it. We, we, we decided to go with some... Uh, I just threw all of uh, Padme's command cards in there and all of Obi-Wan's command cards in there. Um, I think the big one is a diplomatic cover. This, this, you could you could change this around. You could put attack of the clones in there and, and place of something else if you wanted to. But um, there's room to change things around. There's room to put bad batch in there if you want to. You know, drop you know Obi Wan and um, and do some you know 
put a generic commander in there maybe drop padme and you know but i want to wait until the build lists with bad batch until we get a full bad batch preview because right now i can assume that they're just going to be 160 points so we could fit it in but i want to know how to synergize with them a little bit more you know what i'm saying like like padme dropping in right with the clone commandos it could be brilliant it could be terrible um you could fake people out you could drop all your, your clones on one side and then you force your opponent to commit heavily to one side, and then Padme drops in somewhere else, and she's like, oh, you, you didn't think I was coming over here? You know, I think, and it can be fun to do that, too. Play those mind games mid-game. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that, is, that is basically the list. Uh, I'd love to hear some of your thoughts on completing the mission with the clone commandos. Uh, looks like it's going to be fun. Can't wait uh, for them to come out. I believe they're coming out in July, so they're just around the corner. I'm, uh, how, I wonder how many you're going to pick up. Because with Delta Squad, is Delta Squad going to have complete the mission? Or are they going to have something different? Um, you know, it's, you know, is there going to be a battle force that has an option to put more than four of these guys in there? You know, it's, there's so many really interesting options. Um, but they look good. They look like they're going to be really good. And running three of them, I think, is going to be very common. Uh, if we're making predictions, that's my prediction. I think you'll see uh, Triple Commando in many, many lists in the future. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys are out of this world and help make this whole channel possible. Thank you so much for your continued support. I will talk to you later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes, and always wash your socks.